Hi there, this is Dr. John Whitcomb talking about building resiliency. Don't visit pity city. Building resiliency. What is resilience? It's the ability to tolerate hard times with panache and strength and come out without being de degraded. If you look at 100-year-olds, it's one of the strongest correlations of healthy aging. So if you want to live to a long life, you need to build resiliency in yourself. How do you build resiliency? And what is it? And what are the features of it? Well, a study done in San Diego of 1,395 women doing something called the Connor Davidson Scale shows that women who are resilient have four key features. Uh, one is they have personal control, two is adaptation for negative effect, three, trust in their own instinct, and four, spiritual coping. Well, I like the adaptation for negative effect, and that's where this concept of pity city comes out. One of Milwaukee's leading lights is a wonderful psychologist by the name of Philip Shard. You can look him up his website or find him on the Shepherd Express each week. Uh, who gave a lecture in which he made the quote, you can visit Pity City, but you can't take up residence. What's he talking about? Well, we want you to name your hurts and pain in life. We want you to be able to identify what you're feeling. But then it's time to move on. And what are we doing when we do that? Well, Rick Hansen has written a book called Resilient. And in his book, he details the concept that Neurons that are that are wired together, that fire together, wired together. What he's meaning is you build up neural pathways and you have choices in life as you go through life, what you do with each and every episode every day. The more you build up resiliency means you have built up pathways that you have practiced getting past little hurts. And when you practice it, you build up the neural pathway that supports you at being resilient. You've acknowledged the hurt, you felt it, and then you've moved past it. Well, what happens if you visit Pity City? You acknowledge the hurt repeatedly, you feel sorry for yourself, you tell everybody about it, and you reinforce the pathways that say, I'm a weak person unable to deal with all this stress, and I'm stuck and I'm circling in this little gyre of negative consequences and getting weaker and weaker. Neurons that fire together, wire together. So how do you practice it? Just the opposite, like I said. When you go through each and every day, find the little things, the line, just the annoying things. The guy that swerves in front of you and is a crazy driver. Let it go, just drive behind him, you're safe. Be grateful that you're in a safe car and you're gonna get there two seconds later. Let him be a jerk, he's gonna have trouble later. There's lots more examples where you can get irked and frustrated and irritated. Let the water run off your back. That's not near as bad as when you have a car accident. I want you to be resilient. You have a car accident, bounce back. I want you to put up with the two months of rehab and the six weeks of lost pay you had for it. What happens if you fell and broke a bone? How would you cope with that? How long are you going to have to walk with a cast on your foot? I've been there. It was a tough road to hoe to break my foot. But we want that for you. So building resiliency is a key feature. What will work for me? Well, ever since I've heard about Pity City, my wife and I have been making, having a lot of fun with it. And you know, when you have humor, it becomes easier. But when I find, when she finds me whining, she looks at me and cocks one eye and says, the parking meter's running, you only get five more minutes. And then it's time to move on. And when you play with it and laugh with it and laugh with each other, you can make those little daily hurts less painful. And what you're building, you can then identify and be mindful of what you're building and realize you're building your own resiliency. Do it. This is Dr. John Whitcomb, Building Resiliency. Don't visit Pity City.